Okay, in the last video, I talked about the random number function in PHP. In this video, I want to talk about the date function. And random numbers are useful, but date function you're going to use all the time because oftentimes, especially when you're building a website, you want to print out to this screen on any web page the day's date. You know, if you're doing uh, an article, a blog post, or something, you want to put the date on it. PHP allows you to do that. So let's change this to date function. And PHP's date function is really easy to do. You just call the date function, and that's it. And like all functions, we can pass a parameter in here, and you do that like you would expect. And here I've put a capital Y, and that stands for year. So let's echo this out and see exactly what this looks like. Hit reload, and it says 2016. Now, I'll get to this capital Y in a second, but just really quickly, let's put a lowercase y, and you can see it will output just 16 for 2016. So what's going on here? Well, PHP allows you to pass in different parameters to tell it exactly what kind of date you want listed. For instance, look at this one. Lowercase l, lowercase j, capital S, this thing right here uppercase F comma Y. Well, we know the Y is 2016. So let's save this and look and see what this is and then I'll walk you through it. Tuesday, 26th of January comma 2016. So first of all, this of is this of. You can see we've used our escape character to escape this out. And like, uh, likewise, this comma is this comma. But all the rest of this is generated by all these weird letters. So what's going on here? Well, we can go to the php.net website at php.net forward slash manual forward slash en forward slash function dot date dot php. Or you could just Google PHP date function and this will probably be the thing that comes up. And if you look through here, you can see here's a list of all the stuff you can pass through as a parameter. You can see if we look through here, here's our uppercase Y, and it's a full numeric representation of a year, four digits. Example, 2003, in our case, 2016. Likewise, the lowercase Y is a two-digit representation of the year, as we've already seen. 03, like 2003, or in our case, 16, like 2016. So you could just look through here. J we used, this is day of the month without leading zeros, so that's the number of the day, or the 26. And look at this capital S. You see we put we put the capital S right after the J. This is kind of interesting one. It's the English ordinal suffix of the day. So like ST, so like first, or ND for second, or RD for third, or TH for fourth. That's this right here, the 26th. So PHP realizes that today's the 26th, and it should be th. 26th, right? So it puts it on there when you do that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but you can just sort of look through here and see all the different things. So you can play around with this and make it look however you want. So we have Tuesday, 26th of January. We could also, we could just as easily put Tuesday, January 26th. So to do that, we would take off our of, just delete it. So Tuesday, January 26th comma, or maybe I want a dash this time. Let's hit reload, Tuesday, January 26th, 2016. So this is kind of fun to play around with, super easy to use, and uh, just that easy, you can slap the date on. Like we did in the last video, you can also turn this into a variable. Oops. Let's call it today's date, and just set it equal to that. And now we can echo out Today is, can't connect that on there. Today's date, put a semicolon, hit reload. Today is Tuesday, January 26, 2016. So really cool, really fun. Uh, and that's really all there is to the date function. Now, check out this website, php.net. If you don't know about this website, you will eventually, because most of the time when you get stuck with something, you come to this website. It's the official PHP website, and here's the documentation. In this case, we're looking at, let's see, function reference. 
And I mentioned that PHP has hundreds, maybe thousands of functions. Well, here you can look through some of them. So this is php.net forward slash manual slash en slash func ref dot php, or just Google PHP function list. And you can get this and you can look through here and see some of the different functions that are available for you and you know that are really easy to use so if you need to do some weird math here's the math functions you know if you need to do if you're doing some big data stuff and you need to use statistic functions here's a bunch of um, statistic functions that you can look through so really cool check that out and uh that's all for this video. And if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.